go check out the crime scene. Yo, gumshoe. I'll give you the stake if you give me access to... Co-office. If, if you give me access to the evidence room. Right. I don't understand. Oh, please, the pet entrance. Yeah. All right. Gumshoe, you in here, right? Still, nope. I think he might be in the actual criminal affair. Is he in criminal affair? He, he said might he was be in criminal affair. Well, he said he was going to the evidence room. Ah, there we go. He All said right. he was going to the evidence room. <laughs> hey, Mr. Wright, look who's standing at the head detective's desk. Oh my gosh. It's Chief Grant. Are you sure this is all? Hmm? You know what it means if there's anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's most it's most likely per totally perfect. We check the tea we check the drawers, the lockers, the garbage, cans, the coat pockets, the pillowcases behind the computer monitors, the coffee machine. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you'll call me right away. Deal? Yeah, 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 yes, sir! Well we'll scour the place again, sir. The head detective looks awfully fluttered. Well, a little flustered. Ha ha ha! Right, oh my boy! How's it been? Swim much? We. Ha <laughs> ha! Chief Grant, reporting for duty, sir! Ha! <laughs> Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? Oh! Changing music. Oh, okay! The organ! Um, is Edgeworth gonna be okay? Oh, Worthy? Oh, you know. They're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquis inquis I inquisition. Inquisition. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, I've had no end of trouble with that boy since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? Hey, we proved him not guilty. Yeah. It doesn't look good uh, having one of our top people sitting in the defendant's seat. Now, if you go, if you got somewhere else found. Now, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right, Rido? Yes, Von Karma. Yeah, Von Karma. Oh, that front of you. A legend he was, undefeated, in his 40-year career. Only to be taken down by me. Yeah. A newbie defense attorney. Yes. But in court, you fixed it so he was caught for forging evidence. Us. Wait, 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 I didn't do anything wrong. He he did forge evidence. He did forge evidence. Did Wait, did he forge evidence or did he just... He had forged evidence, but not in that case. Not in that case. He did... I know he did forge evidence, but we didn't ta catch him forging evidence. Yeah. We, it, we just provided evidence that he didn't know we had. Right. In any case, the prosecutor's office is a bit in turmoil, you might say. Why, why'd they just do about anything to restore their reputation? It couldn't kill me? Now, depending on what that inquiry committee decides, it would be bad for, it could be bad for Worthy. What, what? <laughs> Evident incident. <laughs> it's downright odd, I tell you. I mean, it happened at the exact same time. And the exact same person. The murder at the prosecutor's office. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that that but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now now, Raito. I can't give all away our secrets just like that. And this and this in particular, well, is a little sensitive. I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets. I can't stand them. But you know, it's a full-time job. Just keeping these the head detectives trapped shut. Huh. Ah, he was the one you were picking on earlier. Huh? You saw that? Oops. I wonder what, I wonder what it was wanted with the head detective to do. What? Blah, blah. Oh, well, too late. Yeah. Let's see if we can ask, uh, we can kind of discreetly ask him. Uh, present? 
can you tell me about this incident? Do you want the salberry stick? <laughs> we all know it's for Gumshoe. Yeah. Cause the Gumshoe is the one who's gonna get us in the, the the evidence room. Like for serious. Huh. Tell me about this incident. I was wondering if you could take a look at this. Ha, oh, sorry, Raito. I'm through with that stuff. Through, I say. Go find a guy who can't seem to sit still out there. The busy one. The guy who can't sit still, does he mean Detective Gumshoe? Either him or the dancing blue badger. Oh wait, I forgot. What do you tell me about this? Good. Oh, uh, yeah. dang it. He says the same thing. I wanted, I just wanted to show you my attorney's badge, sir. Uh, go ahead and examine. And go ahead and examine that head guy. The very front. Oh, sorry you had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the chief of police want with you? Do you to do? Well, see over there? That's Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check if there's anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can trash can. So nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not. Well, except for this. But what? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. Lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date is on it is February 21st. I'll make a note of that just in case. That is particular, because that is the date we keep seeing. Yeah. Uh, let's take a good old gander at that. I should probably get a quick look around around the crime scene. This is the police mascot, is it? The Blue Badger, the future star of the police force. The design's a little cheap for the one outside. Ah, well, the Dancing Blue Badger, trademark, is, is still under development, you see. You have it trademarked? Absolutely. It's cutting edge stuff. Very now. Much wow. <laughs> I showed the doll here to my daughter and she burst into tears. Um... Don't show her in the moving mock-up outside, then. You'll give her nightmares. That one looks more creepy than the one outside. Yeah. I'm saying the one outside looks cuter. Alright, well, let's take a gander at the, uh, piece of evidence we just got. Check. Bruce Goodman, 221. What? Who does not put the fucking year on their lost report item thing? ID, 587. Hmm. 587. Five something. Item loss, status report. So he lost something. And from the look of it, maybe it was his ID card. Because he can't remember his ID number. That's why it's not filled up. And why the second one is just scribbled out. Alright. Hmm. Well, let's talk to Grant again. What? Okay. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Hmm? Well, I never thought the day would come to, to when Waito need asked for me to help. I was wondering if you could investigate the evidence room. If we could investigate the evidence room. Oh no, the move's gone. She's going on. Now, Raito. Actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to e evidence at all. To investigate <laughs> at all evidence. Righto, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asked me, Sir, can I borrow 50? I'd give him a 50. No problem. So go ahead. Investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourselves out. It just goes to show you never know until you ask. And for you here, you can borrow this. Huh? Uh, hey, this is a detective ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes, sir. It's an honor. Now just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. His shades and her shades are the same <laughs> color. Yeah, they are. Or her glasses. Hehe, <laughs> looks pretty cool on my lap lapel, doesn't it? Just think, a real ID. You seem happy. Do you want to do a selfie? 
Yes, sir. Just beca because, sir, we, we, we get to go to the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. <laughs> you think the one who be, who have a bad influence is Officer Meekum? Meekum. Yeah, Meekums. Yeah. Because he's the one who keeps saying sir after everything. All right. Let's head out. To the evidence room. Bar finally. Nope, nope. We got to examine. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. The evidence room is beyond that door. And we have the ID card from Chief Grant. <laughs> Poor Gumshoe won't get his steak. I know. <laughs> Let's I just walk in. It won't open. Aha! The card reader is turned off, see? What is that security guard thing? Howdy, partners. Well, well. You made my Bambina sky so gray. What's made my Bambina sky so gray? And it's you. O Officer Marshall. Somehow I knew. Really? Yeah. Now? What's that somehow I knew look for? Phoenix, stop. Stop. You are can And to think... He plays poker in the, in Apollo Justice. Wait, does he lose every time? No, he's the best player. But he, but everyone reads his mind. I know. Maybe, they, maybe it's just those people. They're like, they're just even worse at keeping poker faces than he it is. It takes, it takes Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All, uh. Trials and Tribulations, Miles Edgeworth Investigations, and then finally, for Apollo Justice, for him to be good at bluffing and hiding what he's thinking. Maybe Four like, games! Maybe at the end of the dirt game, he was like, oh, I need to work on my poker face. <laughs> and during that time interval, he, uh, he, uh, Work on his poker face. <laughs> oh. As you may have summarized, this here's my saloon. That you left. Surmised. Um, we're here to investigate the scene crime. Crime scene. <laughs> the scene, scene crime! crime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Yeehaw. it. Yeehaw! That cloud you- the cloud. <laughs> that, that card you got there is on your chest. That's better than Sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Oh, she did clip it there. No, wait. Did she have that there before? What? Never mind. The uh, card on her uh, coat. <laughs> well, what you stand there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's a waiting. Beep. Looks like the card reader is on again. I bet we just had to go on that computer and do click a button. Probably. While we're here, I was wondering if you could, I could ask, we could ask some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you hombres. You're busy then? Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said no mind to tangle with us hombres. <laughs> <laughs> That's ass. Okay, he's not gonna answer anything. So... Steak lunch! Actually, he will. <laughs> that smell. Ah! Reminds me of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, he's no, from- No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Um, yeah, Miss Star. What, what's this? What, what's wrong? Filet steak lunch. I see, I see. I, I don't see, I wonder what it means. Steak lunch given to Officer Marshall. All right, Bambina, you win. Ask me from anything. <laughs> I'm sorry if any of you guys are like me and hate those noises. I'm sorry. I'm just in character. <laughs> Finally, it seems like. He's willing to talk. All right. Well, I thought it was either Gumshoe or him, Yeah. to be fair. I was like, we're not talking about Marshall, are we? Because the one that obviously will take a bribe right. is Gumshoe. Gumshoe will always take a bribe. That explains why he, we didn't get the option to talk. Professor, 
Officer, Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job. I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins the detention at the detention center told us. Ah, that poor little doggy. I could infer the moment I went in here and I saw the cactuses yeah. and the skull and everything. I was like, this is Marshall's place. Poor guy. I keep getting his name wrong and calling him meekly. Oh. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your, your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from detective t excuse me, two years ago... Well, it might not look like it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know? I mean, demotion sucks, but why did you get demoted and Star got fired if you all worked in the same case? So, what were you doing around 515 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my old speedy zippy, my steed zippy. I have a feeling that's your car that you painted a horse on. <laughs> like I said. No, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang up job keeping an eye on the, the place. That is true. You mean the security camera system? I don't talk to I don't take to machines much. I bet you're terrible with them. <laughs> Kinda like that stewed broccoli they sneak next to your steak, you know? Tell me about yourself. Miss Star told us something. She said that you were a detective into two years ago. It was always my dream to be a raw hide wrangler on the crime scene on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now, like drinking hole in a prairie fire. Prairie fire. Prairie fire. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That's that was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let go. It's that's all there is to it. What does Chief Prosecutor have to do with that case? What kind of case was it, anyway? We heard the name so many times, but no one tell, uh, tells us exactly what exactly happened. There's some things you uh, you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Let's look in the evidence room. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. When Goodman died? Two days ago. The day of our case. That's right. The evidence transferals. Edgeworth was talking about the transferals, too. Tell us about the security system. I know what may... <laughs> What may be two of the machines doing here? Uh, only two of them? That must be a- there must be a dozen! Like I said, Bambi, me and machines, well... I like them just as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. What does this remind me of? Cowboys vs. Robots? Something like that? Well, there- Or was it Cowboys vs. Aliens? I don't remember. Cowboys vs. Aliens was a movie. But why do I think Cowboys vs. Robots? Oh well. Fan fiction? <laughs> I cannot be fan fiction. I don't read those kind of fan fiction. <laughs> the earliest ones... Easiest. The easiest, easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. They they record the thing they're pointing at, and you see them on the camera. Mm -hmm. <sighs> those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. Really? And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard, and you reckon? One more thing. When you go out on the evidence room, you'll need an ID card. Thus the ID reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card passed through. So this is the ID card record. That's yeah, there's there February twenty one. There is Goodman's ID five fourteen p.m. Uh huh. It, it it I don't. So it's either 
Goodman really did go to evidence room and somehow got killed here. <laughs> or someone stole his ID and came here and somehow died. <laughs> now the question to Mario is died because there was a crap there was a murder here, but on one of the detectives, they had the ID card on them. But the only one who saw the person was Meekins. Right. And he didn't know what Goodman looked like. So all we have is based on their ID card number. Right. But we found the ID card in the persecutor office parking lot. And the body identified there was Goodman. Uh huh. Oh, so many questions. Yeah. So, so much confusion. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Oh, I said that so wrong. Oh, well. Sorry, Bambina. I can't show you more than that. Huh? Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe there's some way I can prove the record is tied to the stabbing. All right. Well. Let's ask for the transfer. All right. Sorry, but could you explain this that whole transferal thing is about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. Okay. They're kept here under the presiding the presiding detective's supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the police station. Here? That's what we call transferal. We do it about every February. I see now. Transferal is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed. Forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. Except for statute of limitations. But the statute of limitations only for unsolved cases. Unsolved cases, yes. This is solved cases. Yes. And that happened to SL9 two days ago. Okay. Presenting... Right. Oh, wrong one! Oh, I want to show you this too. <laughs> the sheriff's back in, back in the Wild West didn't place much faith in evidence. Well, that sucked is not the Wild West. About the only thing they trusted was their shooting hand. Which is really bad. Um, this is neither wild or nor west here. Ha! But that's that and this are two different things entirely. I, I guess so, huh? I'm lost. Looks like we need some evidence to get anywhere with this guy. See this? This is the victim's ID card. Ah, the one in, that was in the park and, and on the ground. The one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is five eight two one two one eight nine. Officer Marshall, show us the ID number on that i that on that ID card record. The ID number on the ID card record. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was. Look, the fourth number is a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when the, when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, did Officer Me what did Officer Meekin say? So I entered the evidence room and asked a man to display his ID card. So you asked the Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing. Suddenly, he pointed the knife at me. Alright. If he had his ID card, then why would he have pointed the knife at Officer Meekins? No, that, that, no I, I think that might not be Goodman. And that might be someone who stole his ID card. And if he has shown the ID card to Meekins, Meekins would know would know that the person on the ID card and the person he's facing are two different persons. That's why he stabbed Officer Meekins. That's a good conclusion, yeah. I mean, if he really was a detective here, then there's no point in stabbing Meekins. Right. You'd just be like, oh yeah, I'm just looking at some evidence from old cases. Here's my ID card. Right. 
right? Right. Makes sense. But if the ID card has his, has actual Goodman's actual face, and that guy says we can't see his face, it's covered by a hat, isn't Goodman. He would be like, crap, I can't show the ID card because then I'll be found out. Right. All right, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID rec card record. ID card record, handed. Oh. Added to court record. I don't remember ever having a full two um page filled like I yeah. evidence yeah. before. I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people in with IDs here. All right. Well. You have an ID, right? Well, yeah. Go ahead and show. <laughs> I don't really want to show him because he's the one who keeps track of all this. Yeah, nope, yeah, nope, nope, nope. Alright, well, let's head over to the, to the evidence room. To the evidence room. Whoa. February 23rd, evidence room sector 3. 3. Okay. It's quiet. The investigation must be over. So this is the evidence room. It really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. I mean, those yeah. like lockers also kind of look like the yeah the thing they the put the shelves in. the put they put the dead bodies in. Then let's try, Mister Wright. You, you can't scare me. Hey, you Gumshoe. are here. Eek! Whoa! What? What, did, what happened? So, so, sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. Okay, so that was a smack. So it's true, what I heard? Righto. Please, please, I look like a selfish man. Heck, anyone who asked me, Sir, can I borrow 50 bucks? I'd give him 50 bucks, no problem. So go ahead. Investigate that room to your heart's good desire. Knock yourself us out. I switched my voice for him. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure what you're doing with his voice. So, yes. Sure? I don't sure. Know. I'll improve it. This is a flashback after all. Yes, he's obviously hearing him wrong, remember? <laughs> yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Grant, will loan anyone 50 bucks? Even me? Oh my gosh, is that really what you're gonna focus on? Um, oh, oh, that's what you were talking about. <laughs> Actually, I was put in charge of investigating for a day, for today. That's interesting. Just for today? Boss well, for, for a day. day. But guess what? You got permission from Chief, so now you're boss for a day. What? Chief, thanks. First of all, you'll want to have this. Go Are you supposed to be giving me this? Go shoot! All right, guys. Hang on, let's I, check I, out this picture. Maps. All right, let's check this map. All right, this is the evidence room. There's nothing on it, so I'm pretty sure Emma will help fill this out. Yes. Emma, because Phoenix won't do it. All right, guys. We are in the evidence room. We're going to start exploring it in the next episode. See you guys then. Bye.